Well, sudden infant death syndrome can happen in a moment. And while there's no guarantee, the way to prevent SIDS. You can actually lower the risk by following a few steps, and this deals with how you put your baby to sleep. Our Zainab Shaib is joining us live now to explain, and Zainab, these steps are actually as easy as the alphabet. That's right, ABC, a lone back and crib is what you gotta follow to put baby to sleep safely. Now, there are more than one out of three unexpected infant deaths that happen in the United States. Now, this is all from SIDS. Now, these deaths often happen during sleep or in a baby's sleep area. This includes a sudden infant death syndrome and accidental suffocation in a sleep environment or other deaths from unknown causes. Health educators recommend following ABCs for safe sleep. This is a way for caregivers to remember how to create a safe sleep environment for babies. A stands for alone. The safest way for babies to sleep is alone in their bed. B is for back. Babies should always be placed to sleep on their back every time they're put down to sleep. And C stands for crib. Babies should be placed to sleep on a fl firm, flat surface. If you don't have a crib, health educators are recommending using household items like a laundry basket or just placing a blanket on the floor to put baby to sleep. Now, parents and care caregivers can reduce the risk of SIDS and other sleep related infant deaths. In some cases, they can be prevented. In 2020, 16% of our um, infant deaths were sleep related deaths. Now, not all of these um, sleep related deaths were able to be prevented, but many of them are. And so remembering those ABCs of safe sleep, alone, back, crib, regardless of where you're at. If you're at someone else's house, if you're out and about, we want to remember to keep babies limited time frames in inclined devices, including car seats, strollers, swings. And now for more tips on safe sleep, you can head over to WTOL.com. Live in downtown Toledo is Zainab Shaib for WTOL 11.